Welcome to your forum on local issues, problems, and solutions. This is Community Connection. I'm Mark Vegan. There are 70,000 reported cases of child abuse in San Diego County every year. The poverty rate for families here in San Diego, just over 14%. That is a new record. Home Start San Diego, 40 years of service here at the San Diego, provides services to children and families who are in immediate need of support. Home Start's programs help increase stability, self-sufficiency, and parenting knowledge, and in turn, this help prevents child abuse. It strengthens families. To discuss Home Start, joining me on Community Connection is the organization's CEO and licensed clinical social worker, Laura Mastari, and the marketing committee chair, and she is also a board member, Jennifer Persinet. Hello. Thank you very much. Home Start has an upcoming fundraiser. We'll get to that. But first, Home Start's programs reach out to very specific needs. So let's take a look at what is offered. I've gone to your website, and that is uh, home-start.org, and you say you offer a hand up rather than a hand out. That's right, Mark, and thank you so much for having us on the show today. Uh, our, our mission is about promoting the safety and nurturance of children by fostering healthy families and communities. So we've touched the lives of about 40,000 individuals in San Diego County every year, and our focus really is we, we'd love to see our vision is really that every single child in San Diego County lives in a safe and a nurturing home. And some of those numbers I mentioned, I know Jennifer has some more about the problems in San Diego County, certainly set up some very, very, very uh, important issues. Unfortunately, unfortunately, ones we don't want to have to to really to worry about, but they're there. Poverty, which leads to you know some certain big, uh, big time problems in many different families. Uh, how how can you immediately help a family in crisis? Well, I think any family in, in crisis uh, is looking for some solutions. So depending on what that crisis is. Um, we, we offer a wide range of services. I think um, poverty has a huge impact on families, especially now. The economy has been very challenging for all of us. That's no secret. And we're seeing that low-income families are even more challenged. We give out food. We have a food distribution program that we provide free food um, twice a week at our warehouse location. And in the past several years, the lines have grown and grown and grown, where we used to have 50 to 70 people in line for food. We now have 150 to 200 people in line for food, sometimes waiting many, many hours. So we really try to address the sort of basic needs, food, shelter, housing, as well as, you know, some of the higher level needs around needing therapy and some very uh, focused evidence-based services. Laura well, Mastari, that's the CEO of Home Start San Diego, as we talk about Home Start here on Community Connection. How long have you been with the organization? I'll be coming up on my five-year anniversary. Okay, today. so even in that short time, five years, you have seen the change, and so you've had more people yeah. in need of your services in that short period of time. Since, since I've been there, the number of services uh, has more than doubled. So just in the five-year time, we're now serving about 40,000 people. When I got there, it was about 18,000. So the need is continuing to grow, and I think the economic situation really does stress families. We know that families who are facing poverty have much higher statistics of child abuse or neglect because they cannot meet their most basic needs. Now, how does Home Start get involved in a situation, a family situation such as that? How are they called in? Is somebody else on the outside? sees the situation and calls you or goes to the website or whatever, how does Home Start San Diego get involved? A lot of different ways. We, we do get a lot of direct referrals to us because we are coming up on our 40th anniversary. We've been in San Diego for a long time, so a lot of the providers know about us. A lot of the resources are familiar with us, and uh, we do get many referrals from county, say, Child Welfare Services for one, and other, other county providers. What have you seen in, in your short five years, Laura, that's different other than the, uh, the numbers have changed? We have more people that are taking advantage or looking to you for your services. What have, you, have you seen anything really different change over those five years outside of the numbers? Well, I think one of the things that uh, alarms all of us is, you know, the issue around homelessness. Um, I do participate in the volunteer count of the homeless myself personally. And I think it's, it's a tragic situation. It, it, 
there's always been an issue there, but it's grown. And what we're seeing are more families that are homeless. And the population that particularly tugs at our heart and that really is about our mission are the young women who are either pregnant or parenting young children. So because of that particular need, we started a housing program for homeless or at risk for homeless, pregnant and parenting, transition age young women. So between the ages of 18 and 24, uh, we started a housing program about three years ago. Jennifer Person had a marketing committee chair. She's a board member of Home Start San Diego. Do you have some of the numbers on homelessness and, and poverty in San Diego? I mentioned a couple, but I think you have some more. You know, I have some national statistics um, of child abuse in general. Of You know, a report of child abuse is made every 10, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Um, I don't have any specific San Diego numbers, um, but, you know, if you boil that down, that's a staggering staggering number. I think the most interesting thing, when I really started the board, I didn't come from a background of social work or, or a background of um, working with abused children or families. Um, the eye-opening thing for me was that what the root causes of child abuse, it's not just a parent who doesn't know how to parent, although that is, that is a big cause. It's poverty, like, like Laura said. When families can't provide and can't do the day-to-day -day things that most of us take for granted, that leads to child abuse. That uh, leads to frustration right? and possible child abuse. Absolutely. And, and then, again, how does, what, what would the home start immediately do in a situation like that? How, what do you do immediately as, a, as an intervention? Well, I think it depends on the particular situation. Certainly, the, every county has a child abuse hotline. So, San Diego is, is um, just like every other county. There are hundreds and thousands of phone calls that come into the child abuse hotline in a year. Um, the child abuse department takes a look at those calls. They actually assess whether there needs to be an intervention done. And for some of those situations, they do refer the cases out to providers. So, for example, we have a county contract with Child Welfare Services called Community Services for Families. So once the, the Child Protective Services workers go out and they determine um, what is the situation? Is it a case where we need to bring the child in? Or is this a case where we think a specialist, a community agency who understands child abuse and neglect, could go in and offer some focused services? So our community services for families staff, we have case managers who go into the home and provide home visiting, uh, very uh, focused, what we know as evidence-based services, proven to make a difference, proven to help families where there's child abuse and neglect. They go into the homes, they provide the support, they link those parents to resources. We have parenting education classes uh, in groups as well as providing the structured home visitation component of parenting education. And we are successful in the wide majority of those families and helping them strengthen their family and keep that child safe. Laura Mastari, she is the CEO of Home Start San Diego. She has also uh, been with, as you said, has been with the organization for five years. And the Child Abuse Hotline is 858-560-2191. That is the number that anybody should call should they suspect something such as that. And then the agencies that Laura talked about would probably get involved. These are very sensitive situations that you find yourself walking into. And, what, yes. how, you know, somebody might not be very happy to see you there. Right. Well, I think um, you know, no one is happy for Child Protective Services to enter their home. Um, but I think it's important that anybody who has a suspicion about child abuse and neglect can make, make a phone call, can call that number, and they can remain confidential. So if, it, if it's just somebody, you hear your neighbor, and it sounds like something's happening next door that is potentially harm to a child, you can call that number. You can remain uh, confidential in that the, the families don't know. But So I think for anybody, if you hear something that's alarming, you can call and report it. And, again, it's just suspected child abuse. And let the experts go in and do the analysis and do the in-depth investigation to determine what's really going on. And then, of course, if they refer then that case to our, our staff and our case managers, they are all well-trained. Um, we provide lots of training for them. They're, of course, educated in social work, psychology, or related field. And they know how to work with these families. And, and the truth is that so many families are, are struggling and they need support. And what job do we get the least training for? 
There's no uh, parenting. There's no there's no parenting manual handed to you when you leave the hospital. Right? There isn't. There isn't. We get get training for so many other things, but uh, parents need support, and I think the vast majority of these parents and these children welcome a caring, compassionate, effective uh, worker. On Community Connection, we are talking about Homestart San Diego and how they are helping prevent child abuse in San Diego County. That was Laura Mastari. She is the CEO, also a licensed clinical social worker, marketing committee chair, and board member Jennifer Personette, also my guest on Community Connection. We have an upcoming fundraiser, uh, which is a big deal, and we need to know about that. Let's hear about this. We do. It, yeah. We do. So, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect that we're here right now because April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. And so you'll see a lot of blue ribbons out there, just as you do it in other months in different colors. Um, but this is our time to bring our donors together to raise dollars for HomeStart that go to the very programs that Laura was, was describing. It's, um, it's a 70s theme this year. It's called A Family Affair, and it's at the Estancia in La Jolla. It's a really great time. One of our sponsors is Motorola, and we're really proud to have them on board and really take take an interest in this this piece of our community. How does somebody get involved in this if they'd like to attend? It's easy. They can go to our website, website home-start.org, and you can purchase tickets there. Um, it is kind of a Dallas-style uh, dinner, cocktail, dancing. Uh, we'll have a really cool silent auction and some great uh, live auction items as well. And you have a 70s theme, I understand. <laughs> so yes, should, should, it, should everybody dress up in their platform shoes and their... And their white uh, white coats and black shirts. Absolutely. If you want to come as John Travolta, you know this will be the place to to sport that white suit, uh, platforms, or anything else. The Paisley. Yeah, we started in 1974 as a one of 16 National Head Start demonstration projects, and so 40 years of providing services to children and families. We're, we're very proud of it. We couldn't have gotten this far without. So much support from so many folks in the community and corporations, foundations. And so it's a huge celebration for us to say we want children healthy and surviving and, and we want to help families for 40 more years. Going back 40 years, Laura, the type of services that you offered then, you weren't obviously with the organization. Maybe, you, maybe you, yes, you've gone back and maybe looked at what the organization was doing at that time. There's probably an incredible amount of services which have you now provide which you didn't provide before. Yes, you know, we started as a demonstration project, which is really saying, will it be effective if we try this model? What if we go in the home and we do home visitation and we teach these parents parenting skills, we talk to them about child development, will that have a greater impact than if we just did Head Start in, you know, in a classroom? And, of course, after five years, it was proven to be very effective. So our signature service is home visitation. We still provide home visitation. And our mission was focused on preventing child abuse and neglect. That remains our mission today. So um, we're very proud of it. Uh, we've, of course, added a continuum of services. Probably, you know, 75% of what we do is prevention and early intervention. But we also have a whole family self-sufficiency program, which addresses the poverty issue. We're helping the parents get employment. We're doing taxes right now, so if anybody needs their taxes done for free, we can do that as well. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a bit. But the, the idea, really, the major thrust is, is education. There's always that very drastic measure that sometimes has to be taken. But that really is, that's the last resort you want to do with a family. You're, you know, you're not there to break it up. You're trying to make sure they can get through a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And hopefully your education programs can help that. And there are so many. We have many to talk about. And we will talk about that uh, that brand-new maternity shelter program that you were talking about and many other things. And also we'll talk uh, about how people can get involved if they'd like to volunteer, if they'd like to perhaps donate money, and get also buy tickets to It's a Family Affair, your big upcoming fundraiser. We are talking about Home Start San Diego on Community Connection. And my name is Mark Zegan, and we will be back to continue our discussion in just a moment.